Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so I owe you a review of Brave Noise that I brewed with Michelle Wonder, um, who's a BJCP judge, is super involved in getting women into brewing. She's the marketing director of the Women's International Beer Summit, which I spoke at last year and I'm speaking at this year in April. And um, you know, she knows her stuff. And it was a pleasure to brew with her. So, um, I have actually only had like one taste of Brave Noise. Um, I canned it all and gave it away. <laughs> the problem with that is I didn't really save any for myself except for one lowly can that didn't seal right. So forgive me if this beer isn't carbonated. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Um, but uh, one cool thing is that uh, a lot of breweries are actually making this beer as well. So I got my hands on a commercial variety from Heater Allen Brewing um, out of Oregon. I'm super excited to try it. Uh, so we can kind of compare. I love doing comparison beer reviews because I feel like it's a lot more insightful than just, oh, this beer's good. Okay, so um, I accidentally froze this beer because I'm an idiot. So if it's frosty, that's why. All right, let's see if this got any carbonation in it. Nope. It is completely full though, that's good. All right, so this one is mine. <laughs> I'm just a mess, a total mess at all times. All right, beer slushies pouring. Also, as you can see, I'm sitting on my brand new bench that took me probably 40 to 60 hours to make, and I wasn't even the only one working on it. It was a beast. So this is why I've been kind of MIA lately. This has been taking up all of my weekends for like a month. Okay. So Heater Allen's is actually like, way hazier than mine. Um, I knew mine was going to kind of clear out. Um, I mean, I don't know why, honestly. Um, actually, one way it could be changing is that, well, A, I used a different yeast. I used the Foggy London yeast, and I don't remember what the actual recipe called for, but it was not that one. Really, you're gonna do that right now? Let me just find the loudest toy possible while mom's making a video. Another reason could be that I didn't like properly dry hop. Like we threw the hops in pretty much right as we threw the yeast in. So that's one way. So they could have a hop haze in theirs, whereas mine doesn't, eh, whatever. Um, it could also be that they have some yeast in suspension and I did shake it up because it was frozen. I was trying to defrost it like in hot water. Um, so it could have just been like stuff in the bottom that I mixed in. Okay, so aroma. Oh, why is mosaic so good? So this is mosaic and sabro, I believe. Um, and basically it smells like a mango pineapple explosion in your nose. Um, that's what mine smells like. And you know, um, I don't know if it's cold, it's, if it's because it's colder, but um, I don't get as much aroma from Heater Islands. Their mosaic is a little more subtle. Um, yeah, you definitely get more of the like Sabro pineapple-y goodness. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's drink it. Okay, so. I have a thing against dry hopping now, and it's like late edition um, hopping. And it's because you get a very specific bitterness that's just like on the middle of your tongue. It's like a West Coast. I am like so not into IPAs right now, and I'm very upset about it because I want to tell you that this is amazing and is my favorite, but you know taste change. Um, I used to be super into hops. Now I'm not super into hops. Um, this is definitely a hoppy beer. 
uh, I don't remember how many hops we put in, but it was a significant amount. And like the thing is, when you do late edition hops, it's really, really hard to calculate um, what your IBU is going to be. So the IBU on this was like 16 or some shit, and it tastes like 80. So take that with a grain of salt. It is very hoppy. It is very light, but very hoppy. These are only like four and a half percent, by the way, which like, you know, the hops I think are just like taking over all the sugar that's like in it at all. So it is one of those things that you kind of get used to. It's a grassy, grassy. I'm getting a little mango. And I swear I didn't just screw this beer up. Like, gave it away. It was a hit. People who like IPAs like this. It's very, like, session IPA vibe. I don't know if I would call it a pale ale. It's actually, like, a little hoppier than a pale ale. Okay. I'm probably going to love this one, and then I'm going to be like, I suck. That's the same. <laughs> they taste almost identical. That's kind of funny. But then again, I'm like, I don't know if my tongue's just coated from the hops. Um, but yeah, it's like the grassy. I don't know what else to say about it because I'm, I like, I don't know if my taste buds actually changed, but I find it very, very difficult in hoppy beers to pull out flavors now. I'm getting like grapefruit, grapefruit rind from this one. The bitterness on this one's hitting me more in the back of my throat than the front. It is, it has a creamier mouthfeel than mine. Mine's a little drier and yeah, I mean, if you're looking for a session IPA recipe and you like hoppy beers, give it a try. If you're like me, and don't like hops. Maybe it's not the beer to make. If you guys have noticed, like, I pretty much only make pale ales now. And, like, my pale ales are, like, kind of more like blonde ales, honestly. And, uh, yeah, it's just what I like. But it's fun to be a part of something. And it's also fun to brew someone else's recipe and see if you like it or not. I mean, I assume that's why you guys watch me. On all my harebrained ideas which I've been having a lot of lately. There's gonna be some weird stuff happening after Thanksgiving. I can, well, here's, here's something I can say. I can say my beer tastes like the commercial variety of my beer. What more can you ask for? That's a measure of success in my book. I'm happy with it. I'm happy I didn't have to drink this whole keg because I don't think I would've gone through it. My husband will love this, love it. And he doesn't get to taste any. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. I want to thank my newest Patreon member, Greg Gant. Thanks so much for your support. If you guys want the videos early and I send out merch and stuff, check out the Patreon. It's in the link below. And I think it is. We'll see. We'll see what I do. Bye. My dog's been sleeping all day. And the moment I try to record a video. Tater, can you stop? You're very cute. <laughs> Idiot. Anyway, anyway. Okay. It's like everything when you're trying to record a video has got to be as loud as physically possible. Air conditioner turns on. It's like 70 degrees outside. Ugh. This video is all bloopers, I swear.